Well, hello everybody and welcome back. Today, I'm gonna show you how to find good rocks to use for your tumbler. Now, we all know that you can buy rocks online, but A, that's not as fun, and B, it costs money. Rocks are all around us, so I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to pick good rocks to put in your tumbler. to be anywhere specific to find good rocks to tumble. You can find them all around you. One of my favorite places to look is in landscaping rocks. So let me show you how to find some good rocks to tumble in landscaping rock. Now one thing that you can find a lot of in landscaping rock is unakite. So unakite is a really great rock to tumble. It has kind of like this green and red, almost looks like a Christmassy color, mixed together. So these ones are good to tumble because they don't have a lot of um, small fractures that can mess up your rocks. And they typically are pretty easy to tumble. Other rocks that I like to look for have unique patterns in them. And as you can see on this one, you can kind of see those white lines running through it. And I think with a good tumble, this really might look pretty cool. One thing I like to check out um, with rocks I don't know, however, is their hardness. And I'll show you how to do that. In order to check a rock's hardness, what you can do is take a knife and you're going to want to see if you can scratch the rock. Now, to see if it actually scratches, you need to make sure that you can feel the mark with your finger. So I'll have to take off my gloves to feel if it really does leave a scratch on this rock. If it does, then that means that the hardness is more than 6.5 because a knife's hardness, uh, a steel knife, is about a 6.5. So if the knife can scratch the rock, then it is lower than that hardness. And it's typically not one that you will want to tumble or to polish, at least not with the other rocks that I'll be showing you today, because you do want to stick to around the same level of hardness. Um, so things like unakite, jasper, and agate all sit pretty hard on the hardness scale at about a 7. So I'm going to check this one out, see if it's a good keeper. Okay, so I just kind of went to town on this little guy and I was unable to scratch it. So I think this would be a good contender. We'll add it to the keep pile. Here is another cool little find. So this, I believe, is prenite. You can kind of almost see some peridot in the little crevices of this one. This is a really cool rock, but again, not one that I want to tumble. As you can see, this one has a lot of fractures already. So just the, the makeup of what is in this rock isn't going to give you a good, nice, smooth tumble overall, and you'll probably end up with a product that you end up not liking. Here's another rock that would not be a good one to keep for tumbling. As you can see, there's lots of holes in this rock, and when you're trying to tumble a rock, you really want all of the surface area to end up very smooth. And as you can see, these holes do run pretty deep, so it would take a lot of tumbling to get all of the holes out of the rock. It might even have holes all the way through it. The reason you don't want too many holes like this when you're tumbling is because it's really easy for grit to get stuck inside. Now here's another piece that is a good contender for tumbling. This, I believe, is jasper. I'm going to take my knife to it here in a minute to just double check. Um, but jasper is another great mineral, especially for beginning tumblers, because it usually tumbles pretty easy and you end up with a really cool looking rock in the end. Oh, look right here. We've got ourselves a nice little agate here. This is one of the best things to tumble. Agates tumble extremely well. They're really perfect for beginners. The only downside is they are semi-difficult to find. So if you find one, keep it because they are awesome. Now, this one almost looks to me like either a fractured membrane agate or it could be kind of like a like almost like a paint agate. This is really unique. I think it also has some some maybe hints of jasper in it. Kind of in this area you can see that yellow. Um, this is this is really really pretty. So this I bet will be absolutely gorgeous once we tumble it. Another good stone to tumble is any type of quartz. So quartz can usually tumble pretty well and pretty easily, especially things like milky quartz. So this one is not very milky. It does have quite a lot of fractures, but I think that this is one that I would tumble um, and it would probably end up turning out pretty cool. These type of rocks, although they look really cool, 
would also not be a good tumbler. So as you can see, it almost looks kind of like spongy. It's got lots of little holes. It's a relatively soft rock and would be able to be scratched by our knife. So this one would not go well in the tumbler. Not only would it mess up our other rocks, but rocks like this don't really ever end up shiny. It just kind of ends up smooth like this, but still bumpy to the texture. So you never want to tumble rocks like this. Here is another nice jasper. This one might be a good tumbler. It is, it does kind of have some holes in it that I'll have to look a little bit more closely at to see if I think that they run relatively deep. Um, if they don't, this would be a good one to tumble because jasper usually ends up very beautiful when you put it through a tumbler. Here is a piece of chert. You can tumble chert. However, you do need to make sure that when you are tumbling the chert, you are tumbling it with rocks that are of the similar hardness. So another good one that you could potentially tumble. Things like granite are also not a good idea to tumble. You're never really going to get a very smooth shine and because it does have so many little fractures in it, it will mess up your other rocks if you try to tumble it um, because grit will get stuck in the little spots and you'll never really truly get a really pretty shine. In that same vein, conglomerates of any type are also not great to tumble because there's usually a lot of different varieties of minerals in the rocks altogether with varying types of hardness, leading to a really uneven polish. Ooh, now that is really cool. So here's a little galaxy stone, whoops. This one would not be a good tumbler, but I'm definitely keeping it because it is really cool. Oh, look at this one here. So this is a rock that has fossils. So all of those little um, kind of fragile pieces there are little bits of fossil, which is really cool. Um, it should go without saying tumbling fossils is also not a good idea. Um, all the fossil areas are usually pretty fragile and tumbling them will not only wear away at the fragile areas, but you're gonna lose a lot of the cool um, details that make the fossils look how they are. Also, anything that includes layering like this or sparkly bits of mica inclusions are also not going to be good ones to tumble. The mica will come off in the tumbler and um, the layering oftentimes won't give you a good solid tumble. Some other good areas to look for rocks to tumble are gravel roads. You would be surprised by how many cool rocks and things that you can find on a gravel road. Gravel road rocks are also really great for finding the smaller rocks that you can use to fill up your tumbler. Because if you have too many big rocks in your tumbler, you don't always get a good or even tumble. So I just pulled this guy out of this hole here and it is a really nice piece of petrified wood. That is so pretty. It almost looks like an agatized piece of petrified wood. Now, petrified wood you can tumble. Um, I don't recommend tumbling it just because I personally think that it looks better natural like this. So this is definitely one I'm gonna keep, but not gonna tumble. Here is a nice little piece of unakite. This will go great in the tumbler. Here is a nice little piece of milky quartz. So milky quartz is another really good rock to put in the tumbler and I absolutely love how the milky quartzes turn out when they're finished. All right, I started digging, set those ones down. Started digging this one up. Let's see if I can get it. Ooh, this probably wasn't the best rock choice to try to get it out with since it is a very soft rock as you can see, but let's see if we can get it out. Don't. There we go. I don't know if it's an agate, but it kind of looked like one. It might just be feldspar though, so let's see. Okay, right now it is a little bit too dirty for me to tell. I'm kind of leaning more towards feldspar, uh, but we'll take it with and see what it is. Well, hopefully you guys liked that video and it gave you some ideas of some good rocks to look for when you're looking for rocks to tumble and ones that you want to avoid. Now, this can kind of be trial and error. Sometimes I'll find rocks that I think are going to look really good and they're going to end up tumbled really well, but they end up not turning out the best. So just 
kind of choose with your heart. Make sure you keep those strategies in mind, and I know you'll have a great tumbling batch. If you liked this video, consider subscribing to my channel and give it a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!